Hello there, and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is on The Mandalorian Season 2. It just finished, I just watched the finale, and well, holy shit, what an episode that was. Um, here are some, some highlights to uh, my reactions of it. Who is it? Oh, this could be big. Could be a Sokotano. Or whoever answered the call, maybe Luke. <gasps> it could still be a Soka, but it's very doubtful. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's in black and white, we can't tell. It's Luke. It has it's, to be, right? It's gonna be Luke. Oh, he's... <gasps> is it Luke? Yeah, it is! It is Luke! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It is Mark Hamill. That's so weird. It looks so good. That is very strange, isn't it? Oh my god! <gasps> Holy shit! He's got a paint job. He's so small. Now I really like that episode. I've, I thought uh, the season 2 of Mando was pretty strong. Um, I was a bit sad that the episodes weren't longer, but that is what it is. It doesn't really ruin the episodes for me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what they covered. The characters they introduced, or the uh, new ones they brought back, I thought it was very nice. And yeah, there was a lot of fan service, but I'm a fan. And I thought it was very cool, so... You know, I'll, I'll allow it. Wow. The Mandalorian is definitely the best piece of Star Wars content they've put out recent in recent times. Obviously there's been the Clone Wars Season 7, but Mandalorian was is banging. This all, it's amazing. The first season was sick, the second season just built upon that and was so, so sick as well. Um, yeah, I can't really decide what my favourite episode was because there was that, that many good episodes that I really enjoyed. Um, definitely seeing Ahsoka was a very big plus. She's one of my favourite characters in Star Wars. And seeing her in the Mandalorian was so sick in live action as well. Rosario Dawson did a great job, I think. Uh, seeing Bo Katan in live action as well looked sick. She's kind of a true to her ways Mandalorian almost, um, especially in the final episode. And yeah, seeing Boba Fett back as well, that was very cool. Tamara Morrison did a great job reprising the role of a Mandalorian. And yeah, I, it was it was sick. It was a very good episode. Uh, so I would have done like a weekly review reaction video like I did with um, the Clone Wars, but unfortunately University got on the way of that, so I didn't have the time to record, edit, and post those videos. Uh, so I just figured I'd do a little end of season recap thing to in place of that, because I do love Star Wars, Star Wars media. I really wish I could have done weekly reactions, but this also works. Season two of Mandalorian was, it was strong. I don't think it was as strong as the last episode, as the uh, last season, but that's because the new season was new, last season was new. Everything was fresh. We knew what we didn't really know what to expect with this episode. We had more of, with this season. We had more of a an idea of what to expect, but it still blew a lot of things out of the water. That I thought was pretty sick. Definitely seeing Ahsoka was probably my favorite part of the entire series, just because I love that character. And uh, Mandalorian getting the best scar spear as well was very sick. Um, which obviously came into great use this episode. We lost the Razor Crest, which was very sad. The Razor Crest had a great design, it was a very unique ship, and we lost it. So it's interesting to see what ship Mando will get next season if he gets a new one. I personally feel like if they're going to introduce a Slave 2, that's how they can do it and give Mando the Slave 2. Or hand the Slave 1 over to Mando and Boba Fett gets the Slave 2. We don't know. Obviously Boba Fett's Slave 1 is the only one of that ship in existence as it was a prototype. Which Django destroyed the remaining prototypes of. So so there's only one of them. Also yeah, using the seismic charge in that episode. Not the... In the uh, episode 6 I believe. Oh, 
was very sick. It was definitely fan service, but my god, that sounded great. Should have just renamed the episode to the Eagasm. Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, Mandalorian Season 2 was good. Many banging episodes. Um, definitely the Dark Troopers as well. That was cool. Uh, Moff Gideon just being a, a general badass until, well, until that character appeared. Because that was sick. And yeah, they did Luke Skywalker. Grogu is gone. Um, I'm kind of happy about that because while I do like the character of Grogu, uh, it does get a bit annoying sometimes with him being like the main focus of the episode. So with Grogu gone, I feel like, you know what? They can actually do some, some good shit now, now that the child is gone. Of course, that remains to be seen how long Grogu will be gone because Grogu is definitely coming back unless, unless Kylo Ren kills it. Because <laughs> if you think about it, right? Grogu is 50 years old, so he would have been in the temple when Operation Nightfall was enacted. So, either he somehow escaped, maybe Anakin spared Grogu or something. But that means that if Anakin did spare Grogu for whatever reason, that uh, when Kylo Ren says, I'll finish what you started, he means killing Grogu. So maybe that's how Grogu dies. Kylo Ren just fucking beans it, but it's probably not. Hey, if it is, that's another reason to love Kylo Ren, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Six season as a whole, and there's an in credit scene at the end of the last episode, which was... <laughs> it was great. I think it can be summed up with this gif. But you've gotten fat. Yeah, <laughs> it was good, it was good though, it was good. Uh, so seeing Boba Fett back was sick, his new design is very cool, he does look a bit on the, the, the bigger side, but I don't mind it. He looks, he looks menacing as well, so that's good. Um, I see Mandalorians, The Mandalorian, Bo-Katan, very cool. My hopes for season 3 is a Mandalorian season focused on um, rebuilding Mandalore because as of right now, Din Djurin is the rightful ruler of Mandalore. He bested Moff Gideon in Darksaber combat, which therefore makes him the rightful ruler. Um, which is interesting, but I hope they focus more on the Mandalorian culture in the next season and the focus on either finding a new planet for the Mandalorians or rebuilding Mandalore which is being glassed apparently so that could that could become a new uh, new Tatooine because that's what happened to Tatooine it got glassed by the Rakatans obviously so yeah be interested to see what actually happens in season 3 um, well there's the Book of Boba Fett as well there's the Bad Batch there's the Ahsoka Tano show the new um, Republic Rangers show a lot of cool shows coming out. I wish I could have done a video on them, but again, university and deadlines prevented me from doing that. But I'm very excited to see what Star Wars content they begin to produce. I'm very excited to see where the High Republic stuff goes, because that is a concept that I'm very interested in, and I really like the character designs. And I might have a go for making my own character design. But yeah. So what do you guys think? Did you watch The Mandalorian? Are you a fan of Star Wars? Tell me down below. I don't know if many of my fans are, because like, my audience has kind of changed since the Clone Wars, so be interested to see what you guys think, and yeah, I hope you have a great day, and may the Force be with you. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours, two hours, yo, bitch can food took a few showers, few showers, I don't buy my just money dance, yeah, that wristwatch costs a hundred grand.